So I spoke with an advocate of autism and she launched an app that helped um, parents and um, caregivers to connect their children with therapies first. Do you know what happened during the COVID-19 pandemic? We were thinking a lot about ourselves. We did not consider children living with autism and the parents taking care of them. There was no movement. People didn't move to the hospitals. There were, um, cars didn't move around. There was a total lockdown. Did we ask ourselves, how did these parents survive? I had to think about that. Now, here is an interview that I had with Omotoke Olubodi. She is uh, an advocate of people living with autism. She's an educator, and she's also now an innovator. Here is what she said during the interview. All right, Omotoke, thank you so much for coming on Tech Hub. I mean, you were doing a great job with the app that you just launched for Special Needs Individual TerraConnect. Talk to us. Why TerraConnect? What is the essence of TerraConnect in the first place? Okay, so TerraConnect is an online mobile platform that connects parents of children with disabilities to therapies closest to them. You know, most of the time, parents are in search of, you know, um, services. They want it fast, they want it easy, they want it convenient. And most times, before you get to a service provider, let's say hospital, therapist, they are far from you. Sometimes, even from the comfort of their home, parents want to do things. And that was why we talked about, oh, how can we use technology? The world is going global. How can we use technology to ensure that parents get the services that they need? And not just to get service, but also bridge the gap between um, neurotypical children and special needs children and to also ensure that we raise stigmatization. You know, most times when parents take their children to hospitals or take them to different health services, you know, people look at them outside and then they begin to look at them with a particular type of eye. You know, this type of things and limited parents from taking their children outside. People have now resort to putting their kids at home and not even getting services for them. So we were thinking, okay, is there a way to make service even come to parents in their house without leaving their house at all? And that was when we thought of TerraConnect. How about we create a platform? Very easy to download on their phone. They can track the progress of their children. They can track whatever they want to do. They can request for assessments, therapy, service providers, schools, whatever it is that they want from the comfort of their home. And they can get these services delivered to them without more stress. You know, some parents are, are mobile, some don't even have a car. And you know, our transportation system, the road, the, the, the country we live in, it's not that inclusive for people with special needs. So we're just looking for a platform where, you know, we can ensure that parents that have children with special needs have all these services delivered to them without stress. All right, you mentioned um, during your conference, your thought conference, that Nigeria has an edge a bit, you know, over developed nation like the US when it comes to taking care of the autistic. How do you mean? Okay, thank you so much. So when I traveled, I discovered that in the US, I don't know of any other country, but I'm sure that that could also be something that could be viable over there. There's a list. So you have to be on the list to get services from the service provider, which is regulated by the government. And I had the opportunity to, to do an internship with that particular organization that is responsible for that service provider. And it became clear to me that for your child to attain or to be able to de be, be ready for those services, it has to be at a particular certain age. The child has to meet some criteria, and then there is a list. The, your child could be in number 500, for example, or 1,001, or 2,000. And they have limited individuals who provide this service for them because everything has to be regulated by the government and everything. But here in Nigeria, you know, we are not really, really regulated by the government, which makes it easy for individuals to be able to launch out ideas that could fill in this gap. And it was this gap that we saw and we decided to bridge the gap. We see that, oh, this is something that could be done. We could help parents get access to these services, get connected to therapies, get connected to hospitals, schools, different platforms, without having to wait for long. And you know, early intervention is very important. So if, at your, if your child is three years old, and you were able to see that this child has some special needs, and you get an assessment done, and a diagnosis was done, and you quickly get, you know, help, therapy for that child, it's easy for that child to learn that skills at a very tender age, that when the child has reached like maybe five, six, before you finally get support to that child. And that was one thing that I see that we have an edge 
over these people. We can decide as individuals to see a problem, stand up to it, and want to provide solutions to those problems. So I think that is what we are doing. We're trying to breed that gap and ensure that, you know, no matter where you are, any country, any state that you have, we are here for you. You can just go to your app store. And you know, it gives you confidentiality over whatever it is that you're doing. A lot of time, parents are also of the opinion, oh, by the time the guys start going to hospitals, start going to different service providers, people could begin to see them, people begin to see their file, they begin to meet their neighbors, their friends in the hospitals, they don't want that. So it's also help you to provide confidentiality and trust to parents. Let's talk a bit about how technology has helped um, bring about inclusivity between what we call the normal people and the special needs people. I mean, back in the days, um, autistic individuals are left at the bottom of the rung of the ladder. They are thrown in a dark room. They are called demons. They are called evil. Uh, they are taken to religious houses for, <laughs> for deliverance. I mean, but the story seems to have changed a little bit today. Did technology play any role in any way to ensure that the story is not the same like it used to be? I think one of the benefits is connection. You cannot throw that away. And also early diagnosis and awareness. You know, before there was no internet where people could easily check what is autism. Are these the signs of autism? What can I do to this? And by the time you scroll up, you see different things that will be written there. That is one level of awareness and advocacy. Another thing is connection. By the time you start searching maybe Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, you will see different service provider, different organization that you could connect with them. But before you know it, you have a parent support group. Do you know these are digital platforms that are being used to ensure that parents are connected to each other, they get more services. Parents actually know and they learn from other parents. Most times, sometimes, we feel like we are the only one in our situation. Or we have the worst of the problem, or the worst of the situation, or the worst child, or whatever it is. But by the time you meet other parents, and they either share their success stories, or they share their challenges with you, then you discover that, oh, I'm not the only one. And because of that, I know I have the strength to pull through. So that's another profit, benefit of um, using technology. And that's what our app is meant to do. Our app is not just for connection alone. It's not just for requesting for assessment. We're also going to have a, a platform, a forum, where Parents can come online, ask questions, get answers to their questions. Whatever it is that they're pressing through, they can post it on the platform, on the forum, get connected. In fact, there's, the, there's a button there on the app that connects them instantly to a therapist to have a chat with the chat with it. Whatever it is that maybe your child is just developing some silly things and you just want to talk about it. Talk with the therapist. Or you have serious concern about tantrums, meltdown, your child is not eating a particular food, your child, your child is avoiding some texture, and it's just a burning question in your mind. You can quickly open your, just like your WhatsApp or whatever it is that you just open it. You know, you have the therapist on the go, chat with them, you get solutions, you get answers to your questions. So I think technology is really, really helping to build, not just to build gap, but to provide instant solution in most cases to challenges. So, what are your hopes for the autistic individual, both children and adults in Nigeria and Africa, like in the United States, um, in Europe, and other parts of the of, of the world that are pretty developed? To see autistic individuals doing awesome things, really awesome things, taking positions, getting done with secondary and university education. What are your hopes? I say this all the time. Children are first of all children, irrespective of their disability, irrespective of their environment, or irrespective of what you know they're passing through. Children have inherent ability, skills to push you to be great. And as such, it's not different for children on the autism spectrum disorder. They have great skills, they have great talent that if properly built and worked on, and that's why intervention therapy is important because if a child can do great things, but the child has some other factors that are limiting that child from doing those great things. It is important that you work on reducing those negative factors so that the strength, the positive factor of that child can actually grow up. They are very, very good in some areas. Some of them are servant act, medicine, you know, technology, whatever. Name it. And most children on the spectrum are actually very technological inclined. And that's why we thought, oh, if they are technological inclined, why not we create a solution that has to do with what they also love? So it is, it, 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 like I would say TerraConnect is just a first step in many other things that we plan to do, many other innovations that we plan to work on, and many other um, solutions that we hope to create. And I'm just glad that we are 
for finally having a platform where parents can actually have their mind you know, spoken out and get solutions to their problems.